Okay, let's try that again. How's it going, everyone? COVID Racer 19 here. I unmuted my mic, thank God. Uh, welcome back to the NASCAR Thunder 2004 Career Mode. Season 3, race 30 of 36. We're going to Cannes ASS for the Banquet 400. As you heard from Maniacal Giggle, we are joined this episode once again by uh, Mr. Pizza Boy, Andrew Beach, as he is so often wow. featured. It's uh, not funny, Daytona, because you wrecked me! Ah! In uh, the iRacing videos. Uh, he has wireless headphones, so he can hear me perfectly fine, but he's having to scream from his kitchen, because I'm assuming he's either making mac and cheese or pizza. Or if he's feeling real... Now, it's going to be my third guess. Actually, no, I think my third guess was going to be corn dogs, but... There you go. This last episode, we went to Dega, and uh, we kicked ass. Um, we have officially won every Super Speedway race this season, so... That and uh, between Sidewinder, I'm uh, really good at Super Speedways this year. Um... I don't think we have too, too much going on here. Yeah, I just got something being repaired. Uh, this is going to be done in five races. A laser scanner. So, the year's 2005. I raced and get ready. We're going to beat you at your own game three years early. Um, take that because it's the highest. Take that because it's the highest. And take that because the highest. Car 8 to 78. Let's, go, let's see if we can do something funny at Kansas. Say that again. No, you're recording. <laughs> <laughs> you, <laughs> you dunk your Doritos and Ruffles in what? Nope. Ketchup. Hmm. That's weird. Even by our, even by our standards, that's that's pretty damn weird. Bless them, all right. I do have a touch of the tism, so. I know. I will say, I am going to lower that, because, Jesus Christ, we were like 9,500 RPM down the front stretch. Um, that's going to grenade after probably about four laps. Hello, and welcome to the Kansas Speedway for the running of the Banquet 400. What a great facility this is, Barney. What do you think of this track? A first-time winner here, definitely not out of the question in this one. Being that this place is still relatively new to these guys, everyone is on an even playing field as far as experience here. The 82 car has been quite a good sport on the racetrack with Jeff Gordon. And that's not something that happens overnight. It can take a long time of racing with a guy before he starts to treat you like a friend on the racetrack. Kenny Wallace I draft really needs a good finish in this Talladega. race. He's got a long way to go on the points list. Well, there's always going to be someone who has to fill in the bottom of the points list. Of course, none of these guys want to ever see their name there. Sometimes it's just not your season to shine. Alright, Beach, we're gonna keep this Pontiac up front. You better. It is Kansas, so. Joe Gibbs Racing uh, switched to from Pontiac to Chevrolet in 2003. Okay. Uh, 
Little lap. That's a concussion. There's no safer barrier. <laughs> Thank you, Bobo. The man that seconded stands, Del Jarrett, looks like took second from Tony. <laughs> it ain't even Friday. Well, it'll be Friday when this uploads, it's, but. It's, it's Friday for me. Oh, you get a three day? I've had a five day because of COVID. Have you got your pit crew upgraded? I don't know what. Is your pit crew upgraded? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Alright, ladies and gentlemen, go ahead and just leave a down there in the comments. Do you think his pit crew messes him up? So far, they've screwed me out of a. Uh, Indianapolis and New Hampshire. They try to screw me out of Watkins Glen. You mean Watkins Glen? I hate you. I hate myself. Get in line. Fuel's down to half. Well, we have a Hayden Lowell size lead. And I'm just now halfway on fuel. What lap should I come in, Andrew? You have to speak out. Come in on lap eight. Eight or nine. Ten four? Ten four. Now we got that tire wear, the car handle is starting to go away. That toggle switch tire wear. We have some drivers on pit road already, so keep an eye out for drivers emerging. Don't want nobody to Kevin will take the field. Might be time for a new left rear tire. That was we almost a season ago. That was the last time I was in one of those things. Oh shit. That was scary. Careful, I can get low on fuel. Make it one more, you gotta cut this down. I think I can stretch it one more. Famous last words here. <laughs> oh no, off the turn four, he's That's slow. Five points for leading the most laps. All right, we're coming in this time. That was a really slow entry, but oh my god. That, I did too. I did what my dad does, like in Call of Duty. I panicked and clicked in on the stick and it turned my HUD off. That was, oh shit. Alright, 16 second stop is the norm. Alright. That'll work. I didn't Kevin LePage him. Okay, we're clear. So much has improved in this position. Dear Lord, Deweese. That's a pretty big gap. That bad pin entry really cost me.
Holy crap! <laughs> Beast, we snapped the Kansas curse in NASCAR Thunder. Let's go! <laughs> I know what the Kansas curse is for the past since 2015 when I started I racing I have had absolutely zero luck at Kansas and so it's become one of my least favorite racetracks so the fact that we just won at Kansas even in NASCAR Thunder that means a lot to me holy crap doesn't happen very often it makes you pay a whole lot more for any mistakes you don't have the cushion of yellow flags to get caught up the 82 car ran in clean air pretty much all race long now this was a race he'll always remember what a great feeling it must be to win a race in such a dominant fashion never thought I'd hear those words happen about Kansas We got to speak up, I can't hear you. <laughs> Hashtag Team Love Tom. That's you. That's probably you. Why does the trophy look like a carrot? I don't know, but hey, he's a marquee for Jeff. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, God. Alright, ooh, we're going to Lowe's next. Cool. Last time we went to Lowe's, we absolutely kicked ass. Won the All-Star and the Coke 600, so hopefully we'll win that too. Uh, let's see here. Uh, that puts us to close, or getting close to a 300-point lead over Dale Jarrett. Jarrett finished second there. Um... Yeah, Beach, no. This, our, our third season has been the season that we've actually came out and started kicking ass. I can see that. <laughs> I can see that. Ricky Rudd what? rounds up the top five. Ron Newman oh, rounds up the top seven. ten. Rusty is in 14th, so Dad's going to be happy about that. Uh, Ward Burton rounds up the top 20. Ward Burton. Ward Burton. Jeff Green Burton. rounds up the top 30. Let's see how many people have turned to start this season. 71! And with that reset for a second. So with that, we now have 14 wins on the season, 13 poles, 19 top fives, 21 top tens, an average start of 8.4, and an average finish of 6.7. If we do not win this damn championship, it's going to be a travesty. But, on that note, 
that will pretty much do it for this episode. Hope y'all enjoyed. I was joined by the Pizza Boy, Andrew Beach. Beach, sign us off. Y'all have a good one. Before the